Hello crocheters, welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. And in this quick little video, we are going to make a butterfly motif. And I'm using this white yarn, Baby Bee Sweet Delight. The color is called Angel, but of course um, it's white. And pretty much um, any white yarn depending on the project that you're working on this motif is going to go on a baby poncho so i'm using a number three weight yarn to keep the butterfly really small and then um, i will use another color or just a scrap of pink to finish it off and it's so easy and so quick now you can change up the size, the weight of the yarn, the color of course, um, for different sizes. So for this one I'm going to use an E hook. Okay, we are going to chain four. And join with a slip stitch in the first chain. That will give you a little hole in the middle right there. Chain four. Now before I continue, um, I want to let you know, yes, you can use the magic ring or the magic circle so you can close off the hole. Um, if you're using uh, heavier weight yarn you'll you'll probably want to do that now when we finish this off however the hole will be covered anyway so it's okay to use this method to create your ring okay so we chained four now we're going to do three triple crochets inside that hole so for a triple crochet you yarn over twice insert into the center yarn over pull through you have four loops on the hook you're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two more then yarn over pull through the last two that's a triple crochet so we're going to do two more of those So now you've got the three triples and then that turning chain. Then chain four. Now we're going to slip stitch into that circle. And chain four again. And now three more triple crochets. We're working on the two larger wings here. You can see that forming already. And then chain four. Now we're going to slip stitch into the circle. And we are going to chain three. Now we're going to work on the two smaller wings with double crochets. We're only going to do two double crochets into that circle. Chain three. Scooch everything over if you need to. Slip stitch into that center again. chain three, two more double crochets, chain 
chain three, slip stitch, into the center, and there's your butterfly. Now we are going to do a chain to lock in that last stitch. And we'll cut off the yarn. And then we'll finish it off with the pink. Okay, now we're going to finish off the butterfly with a little touch of pink and you only need a scrap piece of yarn, and I happen to have a size 4, a worsted weight, which is a little bit bigger, of course, than what I used for the butterfly, which was a number 3, but that'll work. But because it's a number 4, I'm going to need a little bigger size hook. So I'm using a G or a 4.25 millimeter. Leave yourself about a 4 inch tail, and chain 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to lay that across the center of the butterfly. And then we're going to flip it around. And we need to slip stitch into that first chain. Get that tail out of the way. Tighten that up a little bit. You can see what we're working towards. Okay, now I'm going to do a chain one to tie it in or to lock it in. Now we're going to cut that off with another good size tail. Now pull that through. To tighten it up. Now scooch this around so the knot is up at the top. So that's going to work as the head. Just work it until it looks right. Okay, then what you want to do is tie the two tails. You can do two knots. Make sure it's nice and secure. And cut those off. Leave about an inch, inch and a quarter. And there's your little butterfly. How cute is that? So like I said, this will be going on to, uh, it'll be an applique for a little baby poncho. I'll leave you the link to that in the white space down below in the description area. Now of course, um, depending on what device you're using, you will click where it says show more, and that will open up the description area, or you might need to click a little teeny tiny arrow next to the name crazy cool crochet or maybe three little dots just depends on what it is that you're using now please subscribe now you can also view a lot more projects really cool projects actually over at the blog crazycoolcrochet.com I also have an Etsy shop and that is crazy Cool Crochet US as in the United States dot Etsy dot com and of course here on YouTube.